Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be organizing my office. I have previously cleaned up this space, but in this video, I really want to get deep and have a thorough cleaning session. In this file cabinet, I store tax documents and other important documents. And in the bottom, this drawer was just becoming a miscellaneous drawer. and. We can't have that. We have to reach new levels of organization. So here I'm just pulling everything out of that drawer, organizing different items. I am creating categories on the floor so that it makes it easier for me to start putting things away. So I just grouped similar items with each other. Here we have the very problematic closet. This closet was just becoming the space where we dumped things that we didn't want to look at. And obviously that's not a very good approach because I noticed that it was leading to me hoarding onto more things because I just tucked them away. Honestly, I almost feel like this closet was a representation of how my mind had been the last couple of months. I've just been shoving things in secret compartments inside my mind and forgetting about them. But the reason I wanted to clean this closet and this office is more so because I wanted to clear my mind and I wanted to see how I was projecting my thoughts into my external environment. It definitely ties in, trust me. And I wanted to film this video because I want you to think that you can do this too. I only use items I already had, repurpose things I already had in the home. So I hope that you feel inspired by this video to also clean your space. And anyway, I really wanted to move this file cabinet into the closet, but there was just so many things in the way. So I just shifted things over and made my way into the closet with this file cabinet. I don't really like it. It's very bulky. So I wanted to hide it away, but still keeping it because I need it to store important documents. And I moved to my corner, my little nook. I wanted to go ahead and move my desk. I really got tired of it in the position that I was in. I previously had my desk in this little window nook area and I loved it. So I decided, you know what, let me go back to basics and shift it in there. I summoned my husband to help me gather the things on the top shelf. And little by little, I started noticing all of the junk that I had in that closet. I had stationary items, I had a bunch of pens and pencils, I found old planners from many years ago and it was honestly pretty nice to recap, to look back on my old pictures, old drawings, a lot of different memories that I just had stored away. And I started organizing different items such as gift tissue or gift bags so that we have everything stashed together so when we need them, we know where to find them because a lot of times, for example, if we have a birthday coming up or we're going to gift someone something, we can never find the gift bags and gift tissue so we end up buying new ones. And I was running into that issue a lot. I knew we had things in our closet but I didn't want to search. So instead of searching for things, I would just go and buy items that I already had in my home. And yeah, I actually am pretty happy with the final results. I made sure that everything that I kept are things that I need. I created a section for printer supplies as well as a lot of important documents that I very commonly access. And I made sure to store all of the boxes very neatly up top. So everything looks nice <laughs> and we will use another half of the closet to store winter items such as sweaters, coats, jackets, etc. Now let's talk about my favorite part, which is organizing all of my stationery. So I also want to talk about repurposing what you already have. So here I'm going to use these candle holders that I previously had and I already burned through the whole candle. I'm going to scoop up the remaining wax all the way at the bottom. I'm going to remove any stickers and I'm going to put these in the microwave for about 15 to 30 seconds just to melt away any remaining wax on the walls. I went ahead and wiped them down from the inside, gave them a good rinse afterwards and just made sure they were clean and ready to be used and repurposed. 
I also went ahead and repurposed these little plastic containers. They used to have candy, I think, and this was a gift from like two years ago. And I just kept these little boxes because I thought they were so adorable and small. And I knew that I would use them for something one day. I highly encourage you to look around your home and look for things that you can reuse, give it a new life, and just remember that you do not have to go out and buy something new every single time. You can get creative with things that you already have. So if you're tight on a budget or if you're saving money for other things, never be afraid to get creative and think about things in a new way. I used these small plastic containers to store thumbtacks and paper clips. It was honestly the perfect size for these items and I'm just obsessed with how adorable these are. I love that I can have them side to side. I can also stack them if I wanted to save space. And a lot of the items that I used to store, a lot of my stationary items, were things I already had. I just looked around and decided to get creative, rethink about different ways that I can use things I already had. And I'm not saying there's anything bad with buying new containers if that's what you think is best for you, but I am just saying if you find yourself in a position where you don't really want to spend money on this, maybe because you don't have it or because you're saving it for other things, you can still organize, consolidate, and make your space look neat without having to go out and buy something. And I ended up using the candle containers to store my pens as well as my highlighters back here. So if you have any empty candle containers around the house, you can definitely use it as a pen or pencil holder. And I already had this black cup that I just decided to use for my dry erase markers. And let's have another moment with these adorable little plastic containers. So yeah, that's it. I now am able to see everything that I have and access it. Everything is in neat categories and it just looks amazing. Down here, I stored all of the empty journals that I I have so that they're all consolidated in one space and in this other storage bin I just have a lot of extra cables chargers things like that and I have extra pens highlighters and other stationary items I want to show you how everything looks this is my husband's desk it is cleared of all clutter I don't love this lamp here but we're gonna leave it for now and I organized just different books that he had, things that are related to his profession and his job, other engineering and structural type books. So yeah, everything is neat, organized and decluttered. And now let's move to my little nook. I really want to be as decluttered as possible. So I just have the essentials on my desk, my laptop, keyboard, planner, monitor, and my external drive. I have a couple of the things that I use every day here. And I really want to add more images to my cork board. So maybe I'll do a future video of that. And for now, we're going to have this couch here. I just laid out this blanket on it so it doesn't get damaged because I do want to sell it. But for now, it is a nice addition. And yeah, that is it. I hope this inspires you to clean up your space. Remember that you don't need to go out and buy expensive things or anything at all to make your space feel decluttered and organized. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more organization videos. I'll catch you in the next one.